everyone, I'm Leora Sims. My name on the gallery is Leora18. Please enjoy the video and know that I provided these Sims with careers. So when you download these Sims, if you choose to do that, they will have careers, and of course you are free to change those careers if you would like. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone, I'm Leora Sims and welcome to another Create a Sim Showcase. Mm -hmm. Today's Sims are inspired by pre-made Sims 3 ah. Sims. When I was playing The Sims for the first time, I wanted to learn how to play the game without having to worry about mm. creating Sims. So I went into the bin of pre-made Sims and I found the Glover household. Now the story with the Glover household is that they are two roommates and <laughs> it's the player's decision mm -hmm. how they want the relationship of the two sims to progress. In my case, I wanted to make Gwen and her roommate husband and wife so that I could see a sim wedding and I wanted them to have sim babies so that I could see what the sim babies look like hmm. and I just wanted to go through all the life stages with them so I moved the Glover household into a pre-made home and oh. started from there So this household that you see now is inspired by the way I played the Glover household. And if that doesn't make sense, it should make sense in a few moments. But first let me go through the outfits and tell you the names of the Sims. <laughs> This is Anastasia Spencer, and Anastasia Spencer is inspired by Gwen Glover, who can be who can be found in the Sims 3 bin with her roommate, whose name begins with an H, I believe. His name was Holden. Hmm. I originally had Anastasia in this pink top over here because Gwen Glover had a top very similar to this. It was just a darker shade of pink and it might have had a tie in the front. But I decided to go with this instead.
And I wanted Anastasia Spencer to look very much like Gwen Glover, but not exactly like her. So I think I did a pretty good job of making her look like her, but I made sure that she didn't have any freckles because Glenn, uh, Gwen Glover did have freckles. And as I said, Anastasia is just inspired by Gwen. Oh. Here is Gwen's formal wear. Here is her athletic. Here is her sleep. Here is her party. And here is her swimwear. Here is her roommate, Henry Anderson. Here is his everyday wear. Hmm. His formal wear. Huh. His athletic wear. <laughs> His sleepwear, his party wear, and his swimwear. Now I'm going to go over traits. Anastasia is creative, and she's creative because Gwen Glover had the artistic trait in The Sims 3. I gave Anastasia the neat freight because when I played the Glover household, Gwen, who Anastasia is inspired by, did all of the cleaning. Her roommate just left plates everywhere and he sometimes didn't show up for work. And I didn't understand why until I realized that her roommate had the absent-minded trait in The Sims 3. So he would just for go to work and I would find him somewhere other than work. And um, she did all the cooking and all the cleaning and it just seemed like her roommate was very lazy. I gave her the goofball trait because in The Sims 3, Gwen Glover had a good sense of humor. And she has the alluring trait and her aspiration is to find her soulmate. And I did that because I was unsuccessful in making them husband and wife in The Sims 3. They never had enough money to pay their bills. Um, the Sims 3 kept wanting to kick me out of their house. And uh, I couldn't move them past 
romantic interest. I kept thinking that if I sent them on 10 dates or 15 dates or 16 dates or 20 dates, hmm. they would at some point move beyond romantic interest. But I couldn't get that to happen. Remember, this was the first time I was playing The Sims 3. And obviously, from what I'm telling you, you can tell that I was very new at it. Going on to Henry Anderson, who was inspired by Gwen's roommate. I gave him the creative trait because Gwen's roommate was a bookworm, and I believe his lifetime wish was to be a successful writer. So he has that personality trait for that reason. He's a goofball because um, I don't know if it was because of the absent-minded trait, but um, this sim who's based or inspired by Gwen Glover's roommate was always laughing, a silly laugh, and maybe that was because Gwen was making him laugh, but he had a very silly uh, laugh or what I considered a silly laugh, and I believe that was because of the absent-minded trait. So I made him a goofball, and I made him a slob, because Gwen always had to clean up after the roommate that this sim is based off based off of. I debated between slob and lazy, but I didn't want to make him lazy because I thought that would make it hard for him to reach goals, and in my Sims 4 gameplay, I want Anastasia to paint and Henry to write. So I thought the lazy trait could get in the way of career progression of any kind. So I just stuck with slob. And I thought that was good because Anastasia is a neat <laughs> sim. So it would be fun to play with them and see how he gets on her nerves. Him being a slob and her being neat. He also has the alluring trait. And he also wants to find his soulmate. And again, that is because I was unsuccessful getting the Glover household together and married with children. I might use these sims in a future Let's Play. I won't use them in my current Let's Play, but I might use them um, in a future Let's Play. And they are the first Sims, or one of the first households that I created in The Sims 4. I tried to make them look like the characters they are inspired by, and I think I did a pretty good job of that.
If you haven't checked out my current Let's Play, hmm. please do so. I work with multiple households. Huh. And have multiple storylines going on. Hmm. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned and subscribe. Uh-huh.